Captain Forest here, and in today's video I'm going to be going over both these combatants to see who would win, more often not in a inverse situation, Null versus the Chaos King. Now if you guys are new to my channel please leave a like, comment down below and of course subscribe for the content. Also shout outs to the HQ squad, massive shout outs to the team, massive shout outs to the Crusaders, shout outs to my boy Corin. he was a huge help in this video, much appreciate to him for some of the scaling in this video, so yeah I'm going to go ahead and chop it all down and get right to meat potatoes of things i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the chaos king and then afterwards i'll move on to null and then i'll give my thoughts near the end of the video the entity known as amatsu mikaboshi originated as an offshoot of oblivion the abstract entity embodying the void that existed before eternity began an incarnation of the primordial darkness and chaos that existed before eternity. The Chaos King exists as a dark counterpart to eternity whose genesis stripped the Chaos King of much of its power and led it to being integrated into the Shinto cosmology as Amatsu Mikaboshi. Taking advantage of the chaos left by the fall of Asgard and the Norse pantheon, Mikaboshi planned to extend his influence by capturing Olympus and crushing the Olympian gods. With the Olympians defeated, Mikaboshi hoped to compel all the other pantheons into surrendering. To this end, Mikaboshi laid siege to Olympus, which was very close to, to succeeding. Ares, still bitter about the treatment he received from the other Olympians, refused to raise a finger to help them. Desperate for his aid and wishing to goad Ares into action, Zeus had Alexander kidnapped and brought to Olympus where he was placed under the care of Achilles and the Myrmidons. While Achilles was away, Mikaboshi's forces managed to destroy the, Myr the Myrmidons' fortress and steal Alexander away to his own stronghold in the eastern lands. Mikaboshi slowly began to warp Alexander's mind in an attempt to turn him against his father by revealing the brutal history and patricides committed by the Greek gods. Mikaboshi hoped to turn Alex into the new god of war, one that could be used against the Greek gods and more, important, more importantly, Ares himself. Finding out his son was in the hands of the Olympus enemies, a furious Ares begrudgingly agreed to join in the fight, but only to rescue his son. During the battle, Zeus was on the brink of death and used his remaining power to break the hold Mikaboshi had over Alexander. Alexander used the grass cutter sword against the Mikaboshi and ended the battle. Mikaboshi was then returned to the Japanese land of the dead defeated. Athena of the Olympian pantheon called a meeting of the pantheons in San Francisco to assemble a team of gods from Earth, known as the God Squad. Mikaboshi was chosen by the pantheons of the East along with Hercules, Snowbird, Tekumotsin, and Atum, the God Eater to battle and defeat the Scroll Gods. En route to scroll space through the Dream Realm, they battled Nightmare. Mikaboshi was key in winning the battle by being able to make duplicates of himself. Athena had been preparing herself for many years in order to fight the great struggle against the primordial darkness. Mikaboshi, who would soon descend upon the world, telling to Amadeus Cho that Hercules' strength would be useless, but Cho's genius might bring them victory. Later, Hera had a vision of Mikaboshi slaying the Shi'ar gods. Eventually, Mikaboshi relished the slow death of his oldest enemy, Gaia, who herself was the fountainhead of creation and the one who birthed the gods. Now how about we see what the Chaos King brings to the table in this battle against the Marquis of Death? Well, we know the Chaos King was able to conquer all of the underworld and force Death herself to flee. The Chaos King straight up killed Zeus with one attack. He possessed and ultimately corrupted Zeus after killing him, amping the god of sky and lightning in the process. 
It's worth noting that this same Zeus was able to take down Galactus with one attack. Amadeus Cho confirmed that the Chaos King destroyed 98.76% of the entire multiverse. Oh, and let's not forget that the Chaos King is the entity directly opposite to Eternity. As we know, Eternity is an abstract entity, the conceptual embodiment of everyone and everything, which essentially means the Chaos King himself is conceptless nothingness. All right, so that's gonna round up the Chaos King. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to Null and talk about what he brings to the table. For starters, Null has literally decapitated a celestial and he's used its energy to empower all black, the Necro Sword. We've seen celestials effort effortlessly pierce the strongest version of the Destroyer armor and also effortlessly melt it into slag. Orishem allowed the Odin Sword to penetrate his armor in order to analyze it and then casually melt it. Odin is the creator of the Odin Sword whose true name is Ragnarok. The All Father is capable of simultaneously affecting every conceivable astral and metaphysical plane. We witnessed Null easily overpower the sentry and rip him apart, ripping the void out of him in the process. Absorbing Man, who could absorb the powers of a cosmic cube, Odin, Galactus, power which can destroy the Scarlet Witch, Wiccan and Dormammu, simply couldn't handle Sentry giving him all his power and basically collapsed onto himself. Even with a mere fraction, he flat out states he thinks Sentry is a god himself with these powers. On top of this, we've seen the symbiote god go toe to toe with Cosmic Thor and he ultimately took him out with the all black, the Necro Sword. This same Thor one shots an amped Galactus. Keep in mind, this amped Galactus states that he himself was more powerful than ever. This is impressive considering what we've seen a well-fed Galactus can do. For example, his battle with, with Scryer and the others threatened to destroy everything. This battle was directly compared to the Chaos War and was an even bigger threat than what the Chaos King did during the Chaos War and scared Lady Death to the point that she stopped exerting her presence in existence. However, before Thor fully engaged with Null in a fight, he spoke to the symbiote god. I have killed hundreds like you. All of them claim to be the one true death, the living void, the end. This is in reference to Thor's battle with the Black Winter, which was a victorious battle for Thor, unlike his battle with Null. As we know, the Black Winter devoured the 6th multiverse and was a threat to the 8th. Now moving onto Null's Haxes, thanks to, thanks to the all black Necro Sword, Null has access to biological manipulation. You see, those cuts by all black will be gradually infected by it, destroying them from the inside. Oh, but it offers much more versatility than this folks, so let's jump right into it. This thing can be fired like arrows and used to create tendrils and whips. It can create monsters of darkness called the Black Berserkers. Null can command his creations from a limitless space away. The Necro Sword corrupted Gore's mind to the point where he had to subconsciously betray himself. When Thor took possession of All Black, it took Thor its true name and even laughed at Gore. Skyfather Thor even had to fight to resist being mind controlled. After defeating Galactus, the Necro Sword was able to take control of his nearby dead body. We've seen Null convert and transform Silver Surfer into his own symbiote Herald, overpowering him. Surfer only escaped Null's hold after a young Ego managed to blast the symbiote off him. Okay, so that's going to round up both these combatants. I'm going to give my thoughts on who I think wins more often not in an inverse situation. Now, based off the scaling that I've given for both these combatants, in terms of AP, you know, inverse-wise, inverse scaling, statements and feats, I do have to lean a little bit more so with Null on this one in terms of AP. His feats that he's demonstrated are vastly above anything Chaos King has. Literally, Null is doing a lot of these feats, for example, when he fought against... Cosmic King Thor, this Null was weakened by the way. He literally stabbed and literally was able to impale Cosmic King Thor. This very same Cosmic King Thor 
was able to one-shot Galactus and this very same Galactus was able to consume a special planet. Galactus literally states himself that he's never felt anything like this in his life, like he's never felt any powerful. So that would basically include like other impressive feats that he's performed himself, especially his fight against like Scryer and the rest. Their fight was equivalent to that of the Chaos War, if not worse, vastly above the Chaos War event and we literally see Null being able to stab and affect Cosmic King Thor and of course Cosmic King Thor was also able to take out the Black Winter which was stated to be a threat to the 8th Cosmos so some pretty impressive feats for Null. Inverse wise speed I don't think it's going to be an issue like Null himself shouldn't is not going to get speed blitz Chaos King isn't going to get speed blitz but naturally uh, in terms of advantages Null has a lot of advantages. Null has his Necro Sword so that could be a huge issue. The immortality negation and the fundamental properties behind that disgusting sword will most certainly be more than enough to take down the Chaos King especially if the Chaos King gets stabbed by it or sliced by it. The biological manipulation is going to kick in. He's going to literally just claim the Chaos King. Hal even turn him into a symbiote potentially but I think more often not I'm after side with Null, the conceptless nothingness in the nature. I don't think that's going to be really, really anything inherently like game changing. Null himself is fundamental and his sword is fundamental enough to fight Chaos King and defeat him. So based off scaling, better inverse scaling, scales vastly above Chaos King and the sword has the properties to neutralize the Chaos King. So more often not, I have to give victory to Null. Thank you guys for watching. Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. BS. It's been real. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.